special effect. Right. Today we're gonna ferment some rice. So all you need is sticky rice and rice leaven. Leaven. Leaven? Leaven? Rice leaven? I don't know. Rice yeast. Okay, rice yeast. I think it's a kind of yeast. Right. It's about uh, one gram of this to 200 grams of rice. So it depends on what vessel you have at home. Okay. I'm gonna do. But the glutinous part isn't optional, is it? No, you cannot change that to other stuff. Okay. Just gonna wait. Do a little bit more. My hesitation is once I soak this rice, I don't know how much it will swell up. I feel like I might regret. Mm. Actually, I'm going to tell you that bowl won't hold enough water for that Why? much rice. Yes. Okay. I think you're right. Like you're right to be. Uh, and the ratio is that. really loose, okay? It's As totally you fine. That, you know, you, you, you know, 200 gram, 400 gram, same thing. Yeah, I think that should hold. 300 grams, so it's about 1.5 grams. You put two, everything works. I never fail with this thing. Unless I don't get the rice cooked. Yeah, the rice. Oh, that's good. Okay. okay. I think that's good. That's enough space. I'm going to soak this overnight. Why? Okay. Yeah. It's okay if the rice drinks all the water, right? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. The it's just the cooking drink. phrase has to be complete. Okay, got it. Got yes. It. Now all you need to do is soak this in water. Like that. Nice, clean. We're using filtered water. Mm -hmm. And a chipped bowl. <laughs> On both sides. Both sides? Yeah. Oh, the inside and outside, right. Anyway, we'll see them tomorrow. Da -da -da -da. So the rice has been soaked overnight, actually, because... Actually, the whole day, because I kind of forgot it. I tug it away too much. But now that's perfect. So for about 24 hours, and I got rid of the excess water and put that on a steamer. Here, it's a wok with a plate. So I'll put that on a steamer and let it steam for about 40 minutes till it's fully cooked. You can actually just, you know, use a rice cooker and do it. The texture will be different, but it's also doable too. So now this rice is my hands are my hands are clean. So I touch the rice directly. Those are cooked, okay. And um, I poke the hole so I make sure and they're cooked and cooled to the room temp. I poke the hole just to make sure that they are cooled inside because we don't want to um, cook the yeast. And um, to make things easier, I'm gonna put some. Brita water, distilled water. If you don't have any, you just boil the water, let it cool. Uh, the reason I put water is to make the rice release a bit because it's so. It's okay. kind of in a big clump, huh? Yeah, yeah. This will be good. So I mm. also, um, a lot of times, being lazy and just uh, steam, not steam, just to cook the rice, the rice is softer. This is the right texture. So if you're, you know, don't care much about texture, cooking the rice directly would be totally fine. Right, it's just I a do different end time. product, right? A little bit different, yeah. malt, like the grain. Feel this. It has that. Uh, mm. How should I say? Uh, it more stays in its grain form, like it doesn't just mush it apart. It has a little mm. uh, resilience in mm. it when yeah, you bite it, snap, a little bit of and snap. that that's yeah. what we like. Once it's fermented, it will be really mm. good. Mm. Um, it's not stinky. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh if no, not at all. It's talking about fermented smell. stuff. This is uh, like a my mini bit, mini mini bit alcohol that we fit to our kit and yeah, yeah, very like minor. Really, just but almost a, a bit really of a sweet, sweet aroma. It's definitely not stinky. Yeah, it's not stinky because mm. I was just thinking somehow with the nado and um, 
some people might think. Right, you know, or fermented beans. stuff yeah. might be. And I said how much? Uh, one, usually one gram of uh, this uh, rice yeast. Um, for about 200, 200 grams of rice, right? We put uh, very eyeball 300 guys. inch of rice. I'm going to put a 1.5. How do I know? I don't know. I just uh, throw this. I never f I never failed. You put a little never. bit too much. You put a little bit too less and it doesn't matter. It'll grow. Yeah. It's yeast. I think I put more than 1.5 gram. I don't know. It's pretty small. Right? It's okay. Everything works. So this thing really never fails. Never fails. Except once I didn't cook the rice properly. It was still pretty good. Honestly, right? it, it never fails. It still works. Yep. It really just... We didn't throw it. We ate it all. It was pretty <laughs> delicious. And then just mix it in. Mix it in. Uh, mix in. Nicely. By nicely, I mean... As well as I possibly can which I actually don't do a very good job a lot of times. Now start to load the container. I have this container once it's closed. Lock, lock, really lock. A really positive seal required or it'll just blow the lid off. Oh, really? Um, I don't know. I yeah, just never thought of that. It's just a full seal and I never feel like it pops or anything when I open it. Maybe I just never notice. You don't know. That looks so good. The first time I discovered one of these little dish of rice sitting in the corner of the house, I thought to myself, oh my God, what have I gotten myself into? Because <laughs> where are you going to stick this when it's all packed up, right? You just put it somewhere dark or something, right? Yes, put that just somewhere dark, no light, and uh, make sure you don't forget about it. That's important. Once I forget about it, it just becomes ultra sweet, like, unless for months, and then I and you might go have a grow. <laughs> yeah. I but, mean, if you're like me, set your alarm for a few days. Yeah, this takes about uh, three to four days, depends on the temperature. Honestly, you should be excited and just can't wait for it to be done. You probably want to check that every day. Sometimes I get reminded, because you notice oh. that in the cupboard. Yeah. And I was like, okay, it's time to check, and you check it perfectly. It's just so dead simple and so delicious. It's really delicious, you guys. know. And it's <laughs> okay, expensive in the in the store. They sell you those full of water, not much rice in it. Mm. You know, and that's that's cheaper. If you see those ones full of rice of this quantity, it's about the fifteen bucks. Yeah, I was gonna about say twelve, fifteen bucks. The cost is like nothing. Yeah, the cost to make is like a bit of glutinous rice, a gram of yeast, and in a few days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you think we should show them how to have that with the yuan? Oh, absolutely. We're going to show you guys that. Don't panic. <laughs> Don't panic. <gasps> I'm pretty excited for this. I haven't been so on the ball and steam. I, I was. It's like, really nicely steamed, huh? I'm really, really impressed. Really nice. That texture, I know it would When be you good. mentioned the batch that wasn't cooked, I, I can see it's cooked. You can see it's uh, more translucent than that other batch. Right. It's really put, pretty. Put a little hole. Why? Uh, sometimes you can observe. Nope. <laughs> I put it in a silly location. I noticed this is right in the middle. It's so okay. Actually, it's just to check out the liquor level, right? Yeah, you will see it'll, a little juice. Will some juice will come juice. out. We'll show you in a couple of days, okay? That's it. Tuck it in a place that's not overly hot. You don't want a 40, 50 degree, 20 ish yeah, degree. Just room temp, dark. And right? dark. That's it. So, somewhere in a cupboard where you got a little space, doesn't get bugged too much. See you in a few days. I don't know if you can tell there's some juice. Is there some juice? I had a look. I was trying to check, but it's I was wet. It's wet, and you can tell the whole, oh. whole thing was sliding. Oh, it shrink, shrunk a little bit. Okay. Did it? Okay. Must it's sliding? I don't know. And you can see the bottom. There's your there's, bottom hole. You know, there's the liquids and holes and stuff. Ideally, you let it. I feel like uh, it needs a couple of days to be at its maximum. Like uh, it's been two days, I think. 
Maybe let it sit. You can try three. I didn't days. see juice in the hole. That's what I was looking for. So. Yeah, that's why I was saying. Like yeah. maybe, maybe a few days, but we can wait to eat you it. You look so sad. Look. <laughs> you went this way. Oh, now he's happy. Try it. What do you think? This there you taste it. What do you think of the sweetness? Hmm. You're right. It can use another day at least. I'd say it's it. I'm hungry, so I want to eat it all. But now I see the juice. See how she used the back of the spoon, because you don't want to get any used spoon in here. Okay, if you know what I mean. Okay, nudge, nudge. You got to keep it clean, or else things will go off the wire. Mm. Yeah, I think I will use it. Then keep it back. That's what I was thinking. Okay, perfect, <laughs> perfect. We're both hungry. Just woke up. Okay, so we just want to eat. Mm. Okay, so Definitely that's eatable though. Right? Really easy Two though. Days. You just yeah. let it be there. Yes. So this is the rice. Do not fall it down. It's totally edible. Done enough. And this is <laughs> the osmanthus flower jam. Jam. Mm. Oh, Together. <laughs> and we need last ingredients. Okay, guys, this is so good, okay? This is so good. Yuanzi, okay? I don't know if they have an English name, it doesn't matter. Go to the Asian market in your community and get these black sesame filled little balls. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, one more, one more. It has to be fair. I'm really <laughs> I'm really conscious about Yuanzi justice. And then you have that together and it's really really good it's not an overly it's a sweet breakfast dish but not like uh super sweet mm -hmm. but pretty sweet okay did you use the good one i used the good one okay, okay. not all uenza are created equal we found a brand that is yeah i'm gonna show you usually i don't recommend brand this is the brand i recommend if you want yuanza this is the brand um. <laughs> good job, good job. I had to get that right side up. Okay. Also. Remember this brand. Okay, this. If you brand. see them, buy them. If you see them on uh, on sale, stock up. Double up. Yeah, they're they're not cheap. Okay, but they're worth it. Mm. So far, the best I find. Good job. I have to retreat for the garbage. <laughs> I think last time we were too early, so I didn't see you show the finished product. Not too early now, it's almost gone. Right, so, so just before we use it all up, you can see a little bit more juice. The whole, like basically the whole rice is it's not called cooperating. What I mean is uh, when it's, it's close, cold. you can, right, when it wasn't uh, so cold, you can almost uh, shake the whole block of rice left and right. They really detach mm. from the container like right. uh, because of the liquid. So that means it's done. And again, taste it and it's mm. really sweet and really delightful, great flavor. Mm -hmm. And that means it's done. Here you go, fermented rice. Super good.